I'm here with the Rocket 88 trio outside uh, the pin-up bowling alley, which is an, it's been an interesting day, hasn't it? It's been really fun. Yeah, it's been, yeah, it's been a good one today. Uh, we didn't expect so many people coming. It's been packed today, though. Um, yeah. Usually rock and roll venues are dying off a little bit, but this is shown there's loads of people still at it, you know, so we've done well today, you know. Yeah, it's been some great cars as well. Yeah, great yeah. Uh, yeah, Dave, like thanks to the three graces there. Uh, with his cars, uh, yeah, I've done a few for him now. <laughs> yeah. I should, I should have brought mine. I've got a '62 Zephyr. That's a. Yeah. I've got one. a classic Transit van. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, when do you? So, how did you guys get into the music? What spurred you off? When? Well, we, I met um, Jibby. Uh, we was in a. We started another band called uh, 78 RPM. And we've been in love ever since. Uh, yeah, we've been in love ever since. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Don't tell the wife though. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, we, we just got into that, and then um, Jim left the band, and so we, we, then we formed our own band with the, the Rocket 88 Trio, and uh, we're just moving on to strength to strength, aren't we? Yeah, so. it's been, uh, we've only been at it since like July, and one or two things are still a bit yeah. edgy. You're tight for being uh, in yeah, since July. No. <laughs> well, I've, I've only been playing the bass for since about 12 months now, so... Really? From no, the start? From, from the start, the, yeah. From, from nothing. So. <laughs> yeah. So. Trying, I'm trying, trying, they're forcing me, you see. They, they've got the whips on me and everything. Get on, learn it, learn it, learn it. So well, he lost it. his air, uh, so he has to compensate somehow, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, when, so uh, I guess you play guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, what guitar have you got? What guitar do you play? Uh, I have a Gretchen. I've got this Alden at the moment. That's uh, an handmade one. Yeah. Um, the guy who made it, like, he's made it directly for me, this one, for that sound. Cool. And... Um, so yeah, I'm doing well with that one. Cost a bit of money as well. Yeah. <laughs> what amp do you use? Um, carbon amp to get that sound. Um, a 200. Um, otherwise, most of them other amps with these Is these valve open. Valve? No, it's not valve. It's it's, it's a tiny, but to get that sound. Otherwise, most of the your open back guitars tend to feed back at a certain yeah. level. You can just crank that one up all night, you know. Yeah. So there's been no. Uh, has it got like a block inside though? Something? No, no, no. It's just the way it's built. The amp. It's just yeah. made for them sort of guitars, yeah. you know. Um, once they get expensive again, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when did you first sort of get into rock and roll? Oh, when I was a kid, you know, I heard Elvis. My sister was playing Elvis in the bedroom, and I thought, oh, I like that. And I seen a movie like, you know, and there was me in front of the mirror. I thought it was Elvis with my brush, like full of hair in the gob. And <laughs> Uh, it's just a kick in the head for playing a record, so... <laughs> <laughs> so that's when you drove it, too. So yeah, well, that's when I thought, and I'll, I'll have to get a guitar and look like this fella, you know. Yeah. So, well, that's when yeah. I got it. It was all about 14, about 14, 15, you know, when we all started in the 70s, about 74. Uh, we all just got into the rock and roll. I was, I was into it, my dad just played rock and, rock and roll all day. Oh, listen to this one, listen to this one. So we, we had to listen to him. Yeah. And, it, you know, we, we grew up with it, so... At that age, I seen. Um, I was a skinhead, 14. And I seen this, now. <laughs> this teddy boy was walking past, and um, we thought we'll have a bit of a scrap me and him and all yeah. that lot, you know. So uh, I followed him down to the park, and um, we just became great friends. And I became a teddy boy then, you know what I mean? Yeah. So and, uh, I've just been one since. Yeah. And I'm just like 50 odd now, 51. Yeah. So did you uh, like you can you can explain this to me because I was yeah. I wasn't bored though. But like <laughs> yeah. so you said in the seventies yeah. came a teddy boy. Yeah. Now from what I've heard, sort of how how because I'm looking back, you know, over the yeah. years yeah. into yeah. it, it seemed like rock and roll sort of died out in yeah. in sort of the eighties. Yeah, there was there was, there was a thing where they had Gene Vincent back then yeah. in over here with a, another yeah. band called the Wild Angels, I think. Um, and it was kind of like going downhill there badly, weren't yeah. it? Yeah. And then all of a sudden. Well, there's another reason like for it as well. Because what, pops up, you know. In in the 80s, like a lot of us started off in about 74, 75. And we, we, we went through to about 83, 84. And then we was all having kids and God knows what. So we had to move away from the rock and roll scene and, you know, look after our kids, basically, and, you know, to grow up. And then as we've all got older, our kids have got older, so now we can get back on the scene. You know, yeah, we don't have to spend yeah. our money on the kids now. We can yeah. spend it on us. 
Oh. He's got ten kids. He shouldn't be standing, should he? <laughs> See, because I I started off like I mean I used to have a quiff and I, I had yeah, my yeah. Gretsch, I had baby blue Gretsch, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Uh, and I found I, I couldn't find people to play the type of music that I wanted to, yeah, you know, yeah. like the rock and roll yeah, sort of thing. Yeah. So it was a nightmare for me. I had to go into like uh, the punk side of things. People yeah. played more sort of punk. I think you've got psychedelic sort of yeah. end of it. Yeah. You've got yeah. a you've got a better option now because with all the computers and all that lot now, you you can just. Put, put your name on a site and say you want a band yeah. and a lot of people from London through to you know Scotland they'll all want to join your band and they'll, they'll travel a distance to be in a band now yeah to go and do it with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. so it's a lot easier now than it was years ago but we didn't get on the I think everybody now who's into rock and roll thing picks up an instrument and starts off you know I think yeah. everybody does it so yeah. there's no shortage of people anymore oh, definitely. Know. I mean, I, I spend hours trying to do the, you know, the sort of finger picking, sort oh, yeah, of yeah. playing the E string and picking it out. I'm not that good yet. But <laughs> he's, he's, he's just a show off, Jimmy. He's, he's like a show off and all that, like, you know. Yeah. So, I mean, he t- teaches me a few of the bass moves and all that. I play the bass as well. So that's yeah. how much ah, of a show off he is. I'm the sax, I'm a few Oh, really? Yeah, I, I play well, alto sax. That's right, right. Yeah. yeah, well, that's what I like, alto, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's great. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Great rock and roll feel to it. But yeah. it's, I, I feel it. It's better feeling than a than a tenor sax. It's just got more drive on it, you know. Yeah. So. Oh, definitely. You can hit the high note, and squeal yeah, it, you can squeal yeah. it a wee bit easier. So let me tell you, there's a man that hasn't really spoke yet. Oh, yeah, What's, your name? Is, uh, What's your name? Uh, Jimmy the drummer. Jim the drummer. Jim the drummer. And I don't really speak so much. Nah. That's why I play the drums. I make enough noise with that. I <laughs> well, see. So, compensating with yes, not speaking. Oh, sure. Yeah, I don't. So uh, when did you start on the drums? When did you? Me, I. St- well, I've not started long- with your dad. His dad was in, uh, in 1949, 19, was it? 1959, 19, sorry. 59. 1959, his dad was in a, a band called the, the Renegades. In, yeah, in um, Cyprus. In Cyprus. Oh. Yeah, they were a rock and roll so, band. Yeah. And there, there was a rock and roll band then, so his dad was played the drums, so that's... That's where I've got my influence on. from. Yeah. So, yeah. And I met this guy, Jim, a guitar player here, and in a rock and roll club, and he said to me, as he was watching me drumming my fingers on the tables, he says, you look like a, a frustrated drummer. <laughs> and, he's and the rest me is up and asked, and he phoned me up and asked me if I wanted I'll to play. i tell you what, he was right. He was right, he's a frustrated drummer. <laughs> he's still tapping um, his fingers. <laughs> That's I'm, I'm very glad he's, uh, he's spotted me. Very grateful for yeah. the lads. Yeah, the one thing, the, the hardest thing to find is a good drummer. I find. Yeah. We can still find. Try to find yeah. him. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a great drummer. Great drummer he is. So, uh, so have you had a good day today? Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. Excellent. 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 I'm really. I, I can't believe there's so many people here. I when when I came out, I think I I got here about one. And he was, he's absolutely rammed. Yeah, yeah I was expecting about 20 or 30 people. And yeah, then, he's, he's, wow, he's come new to the bar then, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's great, great. It's it shows really that these good. things work. That's, yeah, what, yeah. I, that's yeah, what I love about it. I've been more into using photo shoots today than I've ever done in my <laughs> life. Dole's going to get me a summit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're trying to get move this up to Liverpool at some point, aren't they? Or something. Yeah. Are they? I didn't know that. Yeah, oh, that'd be great. I think they, they, they move it from here now, they go to Leeds, and then they, they spend a couple of months there, and then go to uh, London. And then from London, they're going to try and get, go to uh, Liverpool. All oh, right. So it'd be a nice thing if they did. Yeah. So we might see you in Liverpool. Well, well, right, yeah, yeah, we, we, we can, you know, if they, if, if they enjoy it enough here, you know, then they'll invite well, us back. There was a little club down in St. Helens, but I think it's shut down now, hasn't it? Yeah. Um, we could even get some of these bars back. But yeah, 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 definitely. Good, you know. So have you got, like, a, a uh, record there? We have we? Because... Because we're relatively new, we, we started in June. Was it June, yeah. July? June, July. Um, and a lot of that time, we've been done, a, you know, a lot of um, practicing and stuff like that. So, um, <laughs> so uh, we we had five or six gigs up yeah, to now. Five or six, and we've done well. Yeah, yeah we've done well. well. Each time that we've been out, and everybody's enjoyed us anyway. Yeah. So it looks like it's going from strength to strength. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. that's it. Yeah, big, you know, we've got one or two yeah. problems with the, the amp and that. Haven't this we? sound, yeah, but, but yeah. it's it's coming. You know, it's coming properly. We've, yeah. uh, we've got about six gigs to do yet before yeah. Christmas. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, packed in then. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Where's your next gig? The next one is what? What day? The 18th. When we're doing that. Yeah, we're doing one in the Oddfellows in Swinton. That's on the uh, the 18th of uh, November, um, and then we've got a couple of Christmas gigs to do up in uh, one in Nottingham. We've got one up in uh, the, the lad here that runs the uh, the Black Rod Club in um, Bolton uh, on the 23rd of December. So 
you know, we've got a few coming up. So if you like it, get down there. Have you got yeah. a, a CD out or a record or anything? Yeah, no, well, I'm, I'm, I'm actually looking for a, um, a recording studio uh, that can buy, that we can record our own bits from. Oh, see, so, uh, we, we, we have a disc out, but it, it's, it's a bit messy at the moment, but you know. But we, you know, once, once we get, get this, this uh, it's a Zoom recording studio. Yeah, yeah. Once we get this, then we can put everything on individually. Yeah. But it's getting the right one, you see. There's no point in buying one and it's not going to work for us. So yeah, definitely as not. As soon as we get that, then we can public, you know, sell all the um, the albums that we can then. Yeah, yeah. We'll should be good. Well, I'll, 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 uh, I'll look forward to hearing well, it. Well, what really. we can do, when we do get one, we can send one up to you anyway. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, well, I, uh, I look forward to you doing another set. Uh, yeah, yeah we've got we've got another last set, set in a bit. Uh, uh, six o'clock, innit? Six, six o'clock. Yes. So, uh, half an hour. So yeah, we'll ram it down the throats and then go off. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a sore throat, everybody else yeah. have a problem. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, cheers, guys. Thanks for no coming problem. and talking to me. Yeah.